to apply an ordinate dimension to this block shown here, if a vertical and a horizontal ordinate dimension. So let's just look at the vertical ordinate. We're going to choose this is our 0, 0. We'll apply datum to it later. But now we go and we just select each one. And you can see that we're able to squeeze in a lot of dimensions in a very small area, which is really quite handy. So now to apply the horizontal ordinate, we're going to choose here as our zero. And then we're just going to go snap on each circle, just like this. And you can see our dimensions are being filled in here. And the one thing I didn't choose correctly was millimeters as my dimension. So you can see here, now we have, as opposed to a drawing absolutely packed with dimensions, we're able to get a lot of small dimensions. Uh, our dimension, a lot of features in a very small area without overcrowding the drawing. So that makes the ordinate dimension a very powerful tool. Uh, now in terms of datums, <coughs> if you think about it, it's implied that since we have selected this surface and this surface as a zero, I would have referred to all our dimensions here. So clearly this these should be two datums. And in terms of like as you make this part, really it's going to be seated on this surface here as you drill these countersunk holes. So now we're just going to apply our datums as so. So that's going to be one datum. Why don't we? It's going to be pretty crammed in there if I do that. So I'll put the other datum here. And then I'm going to have to sneak in this datum here. I'll look at that, it extends it. So that's a pretty, <coughs> pretty good idea or sense of how you can apply the datums to this situation where you've just got, what is it, uh, 10 countersunk holes. So in terms of actually applying a dimension to these, there should be a whole callout tool here. And we should be able to just select one. And there it is. So it's 10x diameter 6.6 .6 through. And <coughs> you got a diameter 12.6 with a 90 degree angle countersunk. So all that information there is pulled out of, I used a hole wizard to create these holes in the block an actual solid model. Let me just open that up here. Yeah, so these are all created with a hole wizard. So that's how I, that's why the tool is able, or SolidWorks is able to pull in all the quantity and everything for that particular countersunk hole. So now that we have these 10 holes and we've applied basic dimensions, now we need to apply the a feature control frame to show that these have a positional tolerance. Um, so you do that with this tool up here. Uh, first thing you do is you select the positional tolerance. Then you move over here, you apply a diameter symbol. And we're gonna say that, what, let's just put the positional tolerance on these countersunk holes to be uh, 0 0.12. So we're saying the center of these holes must fit inside a, a diameter of 0 0.12. Now if you think about, if you were to make, add these 10 countersunk holes to this block, the machine would hold, would the would, it would be mounted to the machine on this surface here. So really, that's your your primary datum, right? And I talked about that in class, that you try to align your datums to your machine axes. So clearly, since it's sitting on this face here, then that would make sense for it to be your primary datum, right? The B and the C, it doesn't really matter. Remember the, um, the secondary datum, um, the first datum removes three degrees of freedom, the second removes two, and the third removes one. So basically, I'm just going to go with the back face is 2, and then this side face over here is 3. So B, C. 
So let's just make sure we got this right. Positional tolerance, diameter 0 0.12 area, primary datum A, secondary B, tertiary C. So now all I do is I go and I tuck that up underneath there and that's basically saying that the center of these holes must lie in a, dia a circle um, centered about the nominal or perfect the theoretical nominal position of these holes and that it must the center of it must be in a diameter 0 0.12 circle and that brings to an end uh, ordinate dimensioning.